Well, students around the city and across the country are being honored this month for their colorful creativity. A bookmaking competition held in honor of a Brooklyn-born author and illustrator is in its 28th year. And this morning, we're lucky to have some of the winning books here to look through. And we also have one of the local winners, Stuyvesant High School senior Alexandra Stanisavievich, and along with Deborah Pope, she is the executive director of the Ezra Jack Keats Foundation. Welcome. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you for being here. Deborah, let me start with you. Tell us before we talk a little bit about these books. Tell me about this competition. Well, as you said, we're in our 28th year and it's been very exciting. We uh, have books submitted from kids grades 3 through 12. Mm -hmm. And so it's quite a spread. But each group, each age group is put together so that a third grader isn't competing against a 12th grader. And, and they come up with their own books and oh, illustrations. It's absolutely amazing what they come up with. You think you know what a book is, but you really don't until you've you've seen the gamut of what we get. And Alexandra, you have your book. You're one of the winners. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this in Praise of Plants, part five. Um, so I created this book from scratch, but I didn't write it. It's based on a poem by Branko Milkovic, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a pop-up book. Um, so I made each <gasps> pop-up from cardstock, wow. and uh, this is one of my favorite pages. Um, the line is, vegetal beauty so long invisible in the seed, and it's a flower, as you can see. Um, another one of my favorite pages is this one. Uh, it's probably the most complicated pop-up that I made. Um, how long did it take you to do this? About a month and a half. A month and a half? Yeah. Um, this oh page, my goodness, that's beautiful. Thank the you. butterflies. Yeah, this page took the longest, but it's, it's definitely my favorite. Um, yeah. That is gorgeous. And you're graduating, you're going to Stony Brook University. Yes. Do you want to be an author or go into art? Do um, you know yet? No, I'm going to study biology next year with okay. a pre med track. So hopefully I'll be in medical school in four years. This is a good backup plan, yes. though, I think. <laughs> Deborah, tell me a little bit about some of these other books that we have on the coffee table. This is our primary school winner, fifth graders Gianluca Pellegrini and Ping Wen Lin. Mm -hmm. Wonderful mixture of talent. And obviously, this is a nonfiction book. And this one is nonfiction as well. This is eighth graders Alexander Trinidad and Brian Thicke. And I was oh, just going to tell you the schools. This is uh, PS 229 and that is PS 77. It's amazing too because we're in such a technological savvy world these days and especially kids on the but to see the books actually and the creativity is, is quite amazing. Yes it is. Um, and as you can tell from having mm -hmm. spoken to Alexandra, it's children who may or may not want to be illustrators and writers. The point of this program is to bring out of the kids their sense of creativity and also their sense of self-confidence. Mm -hmm. That if they stick to this project, no matter whether, whether or not they win, they are, end up with a beautiful book. And tell us a little bit about the Ezra Jack Keats Foundation and who he was. He's a famous author himself. Yes, he's most famous for his book, The Snowy Day, mm -hmm. which was published in 1962 about a small boy playing in the snow. Um, he grew up in, in Brooklyn and really received almost all of his encouragement to become an artist from his teachers because his parents were terrified mm -hmm. that he would become an artist and starve. <laughs> and starve. Yes. <laughs> well, Alexandra, let me, how did it feel to win? And what did you win? Um, I was really shocked because I submitted my book three hours before the deadline. And um, <laughs> like, a, like a journalist, right? You go <laughs> working down to the wire. Yeah, so I was really happy to find out. And uh, I won $500 which I'm going to put into my college fund. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited that I did win. And if anybody wants to see these books, they are on display, right? They are on display until May 23rd at the Grand Army Plaza branch, the central branch of the Brooklyn Public Library. Wonderful. Well, thank you both for coming, and congratulations thank to you, you, Alexandra. We appreciate it. Thank you. And we posted a link with more information and pictures about the contest and the Ezra Jack Keats Foundation on CBSNewYork.com. We'll be right back. This is CBS2 News Sunday morning.